Hello ladies, gentlemen, and all my pixel people out there. I am the XL Gen, and this is a quick how-to video on how to improve your audio quality for doing gaming commentaries or even just normal audio filming. This is quite a quick, easy, fast tutorial, and all we need is one program. The first thing we need to do is open up Google Chrome, Firefox, or if you're desperate, Internet Explorer, and we need to search for a program called Audacity. I will also leave a link to it in the description below. If I can spell, boom, straight up. And this is the file that you're going to want. So we click download, blah, 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 open and install. But don't worry about that. I've already downloaded it. And ta-da! Right now, I'm not recording on Audacity, so my sound quality may not seem as good as what it normally is. And that's because you can only record one lot of audio at a time with Audacity, which means I wouldn't be able to demonstrate Audacity, which wouldn't be very good now, would it, people? Okay, so I've got Adobe Audition. There we go, that's what I'm recording on now. And yeah, for Audacity, so what's so good about Audacity? Why don't you just wanna use Sound Recorder or whatever's built into your video editing software? Well, to be honest, the difference in quality of a bog standard recording isn't that great. It is practically the same. But what Audacity has, it's got a few features which work really well and allow you to improve your quality afterwards in post-production. It doesn't take ages to do, it's actually really, really fast. And I'm going to show you them things now. So first off, I need to start recording. I don't know what I'm gonna say yet, but I'll start recording and I'll play it back. This is recommended that you put a headset on because you'll be able to, I've actually got quite a good recording setup in general. So to hear any like glaring imperfections, it'd probably be best if you had a headset on, it'll probably sound a little bit more distorted like it would do normally if I had a bad setup. So anyway, let's get straight onto it. I'll click record and I'll say something random. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. The end. Hmm. Okay, you heard me say it. Obviously, what you just heard is going to sound better then what we're about to do, because this audio that I'm recording now is gonna be fixed up later, it's gonna have all the compression and noise cancellation, and blah, 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 blah. So what we need to do now is film for no more than five seconds, silent. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. The okay, so as you could hear in that playback, we'll put that on one more time from start to finish, it doesn't sound perfect. There's a few imperfections. You can hear the fan in the background. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. The end. Mm. So yeah, you can hear the fan in the background. That's basically what I was getting at. And that is actually what we just recorded. Now we recorded nothingness, which was just the ambient noise, which is in the room, which we'll just listen to that purely now. Now, if it was just to export our audio normally or do this in Vegas or whatever editing software you use, that audio is gonna stay like that. You're gonna hear that sound throughout the video. Obviously, when you've got gameplay there, it's not gonna sound as bad, but it's still there and it's still a glowing imperfection. And don't forget, my recording setup is a decent setup. Not all of you guys are lucky enough to have this yet. Eventually you will do, but right now, if you're on like a headset mic or something which is quite staticky, this next step will help remove the staticky noises from even headsets, which are constant because the noise is just repeated constantly. And what we're about to do is noise cancellation. So we select this track by double clicking it. We go to effects, noise removal, and get noise profile. Now what the computer has just done is looked through this track here and seeing, well, all this, this is noise. This is what the user has said is noise. So now when we double click on this one, and then go to noise removal again, and click OK, which I'll do in a second, what the computer is gonna do is look at all that noise, and if it matches the noise that it can find in this clip, it's going to remove it, which will mean a nice clear recording, so we'll do that now. Oops, I just clicked get. I double clicked the wrong thing, but you see, like that was the noise removal gone. So let's do that again, effects, noise removal, and OK. There we go, you saw it all flattened down. There's still a few bits, but this is where I breathed in. And bits, you can actually just cut those off with the delete key or whatever you wanna do. But 
in general, we will hear. Oh, I've got it muted. Let's put it back to the start. And we we'll mute this one. Did you notice there was no fan sound? It was playing that bottom track, so that's a good thing. So we'll play the top one. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. The end. Hmm. Much better. Straight away, much better quality. It's working out. So we don't need this anymore. We've already got rid of our noise. And then we're left with this. And a lot of people are saying, well, that's it now, isn't it? You're done. There are a few little effects which are really fast. It doesn't take long to do, so I would recommend doing it. And a compressor is one of them. I've got my compression setting set to two to one. This is the only thing I changed. And what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that none of the sounds are too low for the mic to pick up when it's gone over the volume threshold. And it's also going to make sure that there's no really high clips and claps like clicking noises, which are going to get into the video because that's going to distort. And you know, like when you on your editing software and you see a bar go red and it's gone like right to the maximum volume, that is basically distortion. What this compressor will do is it will stretch out anything in between there to try and fill up the sound. And it will also lower anything which is at the peaks to try and keep it within the sound. I don't know how exactly how to explain it. I'm not a sound engineer by any stretch of the imagination, but I'll just keep it within the actual width of the tubes, basically. Let's just explain it how we see it. I'll keep it in the widths of these tubes and that will make it work sound better. Like as you can see here, there was a clicking noise and that went right up to the bar. We don't want that. So when I click this, it should go. Oh, it got bigger. That means it wasn't really that dangerous, but can we zoom in? It wasn't like there, but what it's done is basically stretched out any quiet bits, which we're going to be like low audio levels, depending on how we're speaking and stuff. And it's going to make it sound a little bit better. You'll be able to tell now anyway. Oops, I've, I'm, I'm making loads of mistakes. I'm not used to this. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. Okay, so we heard that again. Let's, let's remove that effect that we just put on it. Bang. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. And then let's add it one more time. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. Okay, one thing I want to point out is it might sound a little bit strange with the compression on when there's no sound in the background. But when there's sound in the background, it really does work out because what it will do is it allow you to speak normally while you're recording but it'll normally keep your volume levels at the right height where gunshots and things that you may say a tiny bit quieter won't get in the won't be drowned out by the sounds of the game itself so it is always worth doing it it does sound a little bit freaky once there's nothing there but honestly guys overall it's gonna be much better for you so what we've done in this video is we've removed the noise the fuzziness at the back of the vid of the back of the audio and we have also compressed our audio so then what we have to do is nice and simply, we go to file, export. As you can see, I've got all my other videos here. And we give it a name. Hello. Save. You can fill this in if you want. It's not very important because I just fill in the privacy stuff and all the copyright information on the actual video editor because you're going to recompile the audio when it gets there anyway. And we go to OK. Now we'll just quickly look into that folder. And I will show you where it's recorded. Where, yep, I'm getting myself lost projects, after audio projects, and hello. Once upon a time, a dog jumped in a lake. In this lake, there was a fish. It bit the dog's leg. The end. Hmm. As you can see, it works pretty damn well. So that's basically what we're going to be aiming for in all of our audio commentaries. It's a much bigger improvement than what it probably sounds on this video. Like I said at the beginning and the middle and again and again and again, I've got a decent audio setup with a nice mic, a pop filter and soundproofing on the walls. Well, bits of soundproofing, I need a bit more, but my audio setup's good. If yours isn't good, try these steps, test it out on your own mic. It's a free program. It doesn't cost you a penny. And I guarantee you guys, you will see an improvement while well, you will hear an improvement in your commentaries in absolutely no time. Anyway, guys, I've been the XO Genesis. This has been a Pixel Twitch how-to video, and I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a rating, negative or positive, and feel free to ask me any questions that you may still be having in the comments 
comments below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Anyway, guys, you, you guys have been great. I've been the Exo Genesis and I will catch you next time. Peace out.